fun because we are going to be making some DIY school supplies. Now a super cool part about making your own school supplies is that you can make them totally unique to you. So today I went with this really bright and colourful theme which I love. And it also means that no one is going to have the exact same stationery as you. So you'll be super awesome with your totally unique stationery and everyone's going to be so totally jealous. And if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian. I am so so happy that you have found my channel and if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future then all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Look, I wanted to say hello. Oh, he's a tired little thing. Yeah. Oh, you good little baby. Echo. <laughs> so I think it's time that we jump into five DIY school supplies. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to be making today are some button paper clips and these are so cute and so easy to make and the first thing you're going to need are some paper clips and then you will also need some buttons so just pick out some of your favourite buttons and I went with some bright buttons to match up with my paper clips and then all you have to do is glue the buttons onto the paper clips and I used hot glue just so that it would hold really well and I love how quick and easy these are to make so you can make so many and they are just the cutest paper clips ever and if you need to mark a page or something they also work really well as a bookmark and oh they're so adorable I love these so much Now for my absolute favourite which is the watermelon pencil case and I love how it turned out, it is so cute. The first thing you are going to need is a cardboard cylinder pencil case and I found this at an office supply store. Then we're going to be using paints to make the watermelon design and starting with a white paint we're going to paint the bottom of the pencil case all white and then let that dry and then go in with pink or red paint and then you're going to want to leave a strip of the white paint visible. So just go ahead and paint a line around the top with the pink paint and I was being so so careful and then paint the rest of it pink and let this dry and then once it's dry it's time to paint on these seeds and don't worry if all your seeds don't look perfect, mine certainly didn't and I think the more imperfect the better. They're really quirky seeds. Now for the top we will just be using some light green paint and paint this around the bottom of the top. Is this making any sense? I hope so. Hopefully watching me do it is making sense. And then take a darker green paint and again we're going to leave a strip of that lighter colour and then just paint the rest of it green and let this dry. And then once it's dry you have this super cute and unique watermelon pencil case and I love how bright this is and how fun and I just, it's perfect. Oh it's so cute. <laughs> Now for these super colourful and bright rainbow notebooks, the first thing you're going to need is a plain notebook and then you'll need some thin strips of paper and I found quilling paper at the craft store and I thought it would work perfectly. Then just go ahead and pick out your colours and to attach the paper to the front of the notebook I used double sided tape so I just put a strip of the tape along the front of the notebook and then stuck the paper down and then on the edges I just tucked the paper underneath the other side of the front cover and stuck that down so it was all neat and then I just went through with my other colours. This is such an easy way to jazz up your plain notebooks and I love how quick it is to do and I just think it's so effective with all the different colours and I just, I love these so much. Now so you are never caught without a hair elastic again, we're going to be making a hair elastic lollipop and this is such a cute way to keep all your elastics together. The first thing you are going to need are some hair elastics and then you will need a disc of some sort and the one I was using was made out of foam but you could also use a few pieces of cardboard stuck together that would work as well. And then all you need to do is just take your elastics and start placing them onto the disc and I went with a really random rainbowy theme and then once it's all finished you'll just need a cake pop stick or a lollipop stick and then just attach this to the disc and then you'll have all your hair elastics on this adorable little lollipop and I just think it's such a cute way to keep them all together so they're not just flying around in the bottom of a bag forgotten forever. So now for this really fun journal or notebook, the first thing you're going to need is a plain notebook and I went with this brown one and then you'll need some elastic and all you need to do is measure this around the front of the book and then flip it over and then just cut off your excess elastic and then glue down both ends on the back of the book with some glue. 
Now what this elastic is going to do is it's just going to keep your notebook together so if you have any loose papers or notes inside that you're worried are going to fall out, the elastic is just going to keep it all together. And if you want to make this book a little bit more personal, I just went ahead and took some colourful beads and stuck these on the front and I wrote my name. But if this was for a subject you could write English or maths or drama, it's just so much fun! So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you guys next time, bye!